So let's talk about leadership and personal leadership philosophies. You're both stepping into pretty big jobs that have intense scrutiny with enormous expectations from all of our constituencies. So Andy, let's start with you. What's your favorite personal philosophy on leadership that has helped guide your career? Well, that's a great question. And having spent 30 years on active duty in the Air Force, of course, I've been exposed to a lot of different leadership styles and leadership approaches. And um, you know, there's, uh, there's lots of books written about the leadership, the five effective approaches to leadership, the 200 approaches to leadership. There's just a lot of people who uh, pontificate about this. Um, I think what I've observed is uh, being having a vision, being able to communicate, um, and being able to, to pull a team together are some of the most important factors. But there's one that stands out above all of them. And, uh, and this is one uh, that doesn't sound very military, um, but it's, it's important and near and dear to me. And that is uh, the philosophy of loving your people. And this is about uh, caring for them, taking care of their needs. It's about helping them grow and to become, and at a university, helping our students to grow into the future leaders that they need to become. And so uh, with that comes a sense of humility and an openness that is really required to really lead them with, with this uh, sense of care and this sense of love. And, uh, and so there's a lot of elements to it, but it's a very, it's a simple tagline that I, I think I've tried to adopt uh, and, and demonstrate throughout my career. And Brandon, what about you? I mean, you certainly have some great leadership philosophies as well. Well, geez, after a 30-year uh, military career, I was probably hoping you had more <laughs> advice for me. But, uh, oh, well, I think, uh, I think we probably are on the same page there uh, um, with leadership. It's not generally something that you're going to read in a book. I think you have to find it out there in an environment of stress and when you're put under stress and, and how you handle yourself. Uh, I always joke, my, my staff uh, tells me before I have a, a big press conference or a big interview, they always say, uh, don't suck. There's a lot of people counting on you, so I always, always kind of loosens me up. But uh, uh, you know, my philosophy has always been lead from the front. You know, always uh, be willing to do, never make anybody else do something that you're not willing to do yourself, and always be willing to get your hands dirty. And uh, you know, allowing people to climb on your back, uh, carrying your lunch pail and in your work boots, and and just uh, leading in a way that uh, others want to follow you.